மறக்காம லைக் பண்ணுங்க ஷேர் பண்ணுங்க கமெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்க நன்றி வணக்கம் Chapter 4 Animal Kingdom Topics to be covered are 4.1 Basis of Classification 4.2 Classification of Animals Let's begin with introduction when you look around you will observe different animals with different structures and forms as over a million species of animals have been described till now the need for classification becomes all the more important The classification also helps in assigning a systematic position to newly described species. 4.1 Basis of Classification In spite of differences in structure and form of different animals, there are fundamental features common to various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cells, body symmetry, nature of coelom, patterns of digestive, circulatory or reproductive systems. These features are used as the basis of animal classification and some of them are discussed here. First is levels of organization. Though all members of animalia are multicellular, all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cells. For example, in sponges, the cells are arranged as loose cell aggregates, that is, they exhibit cellular level of organization. Some division of labor activities occur among the cells. In coelent traits the arrangement of cells is more complex here the cells performing the same function are arranged into tissues hence is called tissue level of organization a still higher level of organization that is organ level is exhibited by members of platyhelminths and other higher phyla where tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for a particular function in animals like annelids arthropods mollusks Echinoderms and chordates organs have associated to form functional systems each system concerned with a specific physiological function this pattern is called organ system level of organization organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit various patterns of complexities for example the digestive system in platyhelminths has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serves as both mouth and anus and is hence called incomplete A complete digestive system has two openings mouth and anus Similarly the circulatory system may be of two types I open type in which the blood is pumped out of the heart and the cells and tissues are directly bathed in it and 2 closed type in which the blood is circulated through a series of vessels of varying diameters arteries veins and capillaries Second is symmetry Animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry. Sponges are mostly asymmetrical, that is, any plane that passes through the center does not divide them into equal halves. When any plane passing through the central axis of the body divides the organism into two identical halves, it is called radial symmetry. Coelent traits, ctenophores and echinoderms have this kind of body plan. Animals like annelids, arthropods, etc. where the body can be divided into identical left and right halves in only one plane exhibit bilateral symmetry third is diploblastic and triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged into embryonic layers an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm are called diploblastic animals for example coelenterates an undifferentiated layer mesogly is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm Those animals in which the developing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, in between the ectoderm and endoderm, are called triploblastic animals, platyhelminths to chordates. Fourth is coelom. Presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is very important in classification. The body cavity, which is lined by mesoderm, is called coelom. Animals possessing coelom are called coelomates. For example, annelids. mollusks arthropods echinoderms hemichordates and chordates in some animals the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm such a body cavity is called pseudocoelom and the animals possessing them are called pseudocoelomates for example aschelminths the animals in which the body cavity is absent are called acoelomates for example platyhelminths fifth is segmentation in some animals 
the body is externally and internally divided into segments with a serial repetition of at least some organs. For example, in earthworm, the body shows this pattern called metameric segmentation and the phenomenon is known as metamerism. Sixth is, notochord. Notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure formed on the dorsal side during embryonic development in some animals. Animals with notochord are called chordates and those animals which do not form this structure are called non-chordates, for example, porifera to echinoderms. 4.2 Classification of Animals The broad classification of animalia based on common fundamental features. First is, phylum, porifera. Members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges. They are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals. These are primitive multicellular animals and have cellular level of organization. Sponges have a water transport or canal system. Water enters through minute pause, austere, in the body wall into a central cavity, spunga coel, from where it goes out through the osculum. This pathway of water transport is helpful in food gathering, respiratory exchange and removal of waste. Choanocytes or collar cells line the spunga coil and the canals. Digestion is intracellular. The body is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sexes are not separate. Hermaphrodite, that is, eggs and sperms are produced by the same individual. Sponges reproduce asexually by fragmentation and sexually by formation of gametes. Fertilization is internal and development is indirect having a larval stage which is morphologically distinct from the adult. Examples are, Sikon also called Sypha, Spongilla also called Freshwater Sponge and Aspongia also called Bath Sponge. Second is, Phylum, Coelenteratu also called Cnidaria. They are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free-swimming, radially symmetrical animals. The name cnidaria is derived from the cnidoblasts or cnidocytes, which contain the stinging capsules or nematocytes, present on the tentacles and the body. Cnidoblasts are used for anchorage, defense and for the capture of prey. Cnidarians exhibit tissue level of organization and are diploblastic. They have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening, mouth on hypostome. Digestion is extracellular and intracellular. Some of the cnidarians, for example, corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate. Cnidarians exhibit two basic body forms called polyp and medusa. The former is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra, adamsa, etc. whereas, the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming like olea or jellyfish. Those cnidarians which exist in both forms exhibit alternation of generation, metagenesis, that is, Polyps produce mejersey asexually and mejersey form the polyps sexually, for example, obelia. Examples, Physalia also called Portuguese man of war, Adamsa also called sea anemone, Penachula also called sea pen, Gorgonia also called sea fan and Meandrina also called brain coral. Third is, Phylum, Ctenophora. Ctenophores commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies are exclusively marine, radially symmetrical, diploblastic organisms with tissue level of organization. The body bears eight external rows of ciliated comb plates, which help in locomotion. Digestion is both extracellular and intracellular. Bioluminescence, the property of a living organism to emit light, is well marked in ctenophores. Sexes are not separate. Reproduction takes place only by sexual means. Fertilization is external with indirect development. Examples, Pleurobracha and Cteneplana. Fourth is, Phylum, Platyelminths. They have dorsoventrally flattened body, hence are called flatworms. These are mostly endoparasites found in animals including human beings. Flatworms are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and aquilamate animals with organ level of organization. Hooks and suckers are present in the parasitic forms. Some of them absorb nutrients from the host directly through their body surface. Specialized cells called flame cells help in osmogulation and excretion. Sexes are not separate. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. 
some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity. Examples, tenure also called tapeworm, fasciola also called liver fluke. Fifth is, phylum, aschelminths. The body of the aschelminths is circular in cross-section, hence, the name round worms. They may be free-living, aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in plants and animals. Round worms have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and pseudocoelomate animals. Alimentary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. An excretory tube removes body wastes from the body cavity through the excretory pore. Sexes are separate, dioecious, that is, males and females are distinct. Often females are longer than males. Fertilization is internal and development may be direct. The young ones resemble the adult, or indirect. Examples, Ascaries also called round worm, Wachereria also called filaria worm, Ancelostomu also called hookworm. Sixth is, Phylum, and Leda. They may be aquatic, marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living, and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit organ system level of body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented and coelomate animals. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments on mirrors and, hence, the phylum name and leader, Latin, annulus, little ring. They possess longitudinal and circular muscles which help in locomotion. Aquatic enlids like Nera is possess lateral appendages, parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, sing. Nephridium, help in osmogulation and excretion. Neural system consists of paired ganglia, sing. Ganglion, connected by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Neurus, an aquatic form, is dioecious, but earthworms and leeches are more niches. Reproduction is sexual. Examples, Nerus, Fretum also called earthworm and Hyrodinaria also called blood-sucking leech. Seventh is, Phylum, Arthropoda. This is the largest phylum of Animalia which includes insects. Over two-thirds of all named species on Earth are arthropods. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented and coelomate animals. The body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of head, thorax and abdomen. They have jointed appendages, arthros joint, podo appendages. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antennae, eyes, compound and simple, statocysts or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through malpighian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. Development may be direct or indirect. Examples Economically important insects are apis also called honeybee, bombyx also called silkworm, laxifer also called lac insect. Vectors are anopheles, culex and deads, mosquitoes. Gregarious pest are locust also called locust. Living fossil are limulus also called king crab. Eighth is, phylum, mollusca. This is the second largest animal phylum. Mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, having an organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and coelomate animals. Body is covered by a calcareous shell and is unsegmented with a distinct head, muscular foot and visceral hump. A soft and spongy layer of skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called the mantle cavity in which feather-like gills are present. They have respiratory and excretory functions. The anterior head region has sensory tentacles. The mouth contains a file-like rasping organ for feeding, called radula. They are usually dioecious and oviparous with indirect development. Examples Pila also called apple snail, pink tada also called pearl oyster, sepia also called cuttlefish, lelink also called squid, octopus also called devilfish, aplysia also called sea hare, 
Dentlium also called tusk shell and Chetoplura are also called Chiton. Ninthis, Phylum, Echinodermata. These animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and, hence, the name Echinodermata, spiny bodied. All are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower, ventral, side and anus on the upper, dorsal, side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming larva. Examples, Astrias also called starfish, Echinus also called sea urchin, Antidon also called sea lily, Cucumaria also called sea cucumber and Ophiura also called brittle star. Eleventhis, Phylum, Hemicordata. Hemicordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum chordata. But now it is placed as a separate phylum under non-chordata. This phylum consists of a small group of worm-like marine animals with organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and coelomate animals. The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar and a long trunk. Circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. Excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect. Examples, Balanoglossus and Circaglossus. 4.2.11 Phylum, Chordata. Animals belonging to phylum Chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits. These are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, coelomate with organ system level of organization. They possess a postanal tail and a closed circulatory system. Listen carefully, a comparison of salient features of chordates and non-chordates. Chordates and non-chordates. 1. Notochord present in chordates. While in non-chordates notochord is absent. 2. Central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single in chordates. While in non-chordates central nervous system is ventral, solid and double. 3. Pharynx perforated by gill slits in chordates. While in non-chordates gill slits are absent. 4. Heart is ventral in chordates. While in non-chordates heart is dorsal, if present. 5. A postanal part, tail, is present in chordates while in non-chordates post-anal tail is absent. Phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla, urochordata or tunicata, cephalochordata and vertebrata. Subphyla urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochordates and are exclusively marine. In urochordata, notochord is present only in larval tail, while in cephalochordata, it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Examples. Urochordata, Acidia, Salpa, Delirium. Cephalochordata, Bronchiostomu also called Amphioxus or Lancelet. The members of subphylum vertebrata possess notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus all vertebrates are chordates but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmogulation and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs. The subphylum vertebrata is further divided into agnatha, these lacks jaw and nathostoma to these bears jaw. Agnatha is further divided into class cyclostomata. Nathostoma to is divided into superclass Pisces, they have fin and tetrapida, they have limbs. Pisces is divided into class Chandrak thighs and Ostage thighs. Tetrapida is divided into class Amphibia, Replelia, Aves and Mammals. First discuss, class, Cyclostomata. All living members of the class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites on some fishes. 
they have an elongated body bearing six fifteen pairs of gill slits for respiration. Cyclostomes have a sucking and circular mouth without jaws. Their body is devoid of scales and paired fins. Cranium and vertebral column are cartilaginous. Circulation is of closed type. Cyclostomes are marine but migrate for spawning to fresh water. After spawning, within a few days, they die. Their larvae, after metamorphosis, return to the ocean. Examples are Petromers, also called lamprey, and Myxene, also called hagfish. Second is class. Chondric thighs. They are marine animals with streamlined body and have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Mouth is located ventrally. Notochord is persistent throughout life. Gill slits are separate and without operculum, gill cover. The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are predaceous. Due to the absence of air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. Some of them have electric organs, for example, torpedo, and some possess poison sting, for example, trigon. They are cold-blooded, poikilothemous, animals, that is, they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Sexes are separate. In males pelvic fins bear claspers. They have internal fertilization and many of them are viviparous. Examples are, Scoliodon also called dogfish, Pristis also called sawfish, Carcharodon also called great white shark, Trigon also called stingray. Third is, class, Ostage thighs. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. Their body is streamlined. Mouth is mostly terminal. They have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. Skin is covered with cycloid, ctenoid scales. Air bladder is present which regulates buoyancy. Heart is two-chambered, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous and development is direct. Examples, marine, ixocoitus, flying fish. Hippocampus, sea horse. Freshwater labio, ruu, cattle, cattle, clarios, mega. Aquarium, beta, fighting fish, terephyllum, angelfish. Fourth is, class, amphibia. As the name indicates, Greek word, amphi meaning dual, bios, life. Amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats. Most of them have two pairs of limbs. Body is divisible into head and trunk. Tail may be present in some. The amphibian skin is moist, without scales. The eyes have eyelids. Atomponym represents the ear. Alimentary canal, urinary and reproductive tracts open into a common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior. Respiration is by gills, lungs and through skin. The heart is three-chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. They are oviparous and development is indirect. Examples, bfo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, ichthyophis, limbless amphibia. Fifth is, class, reptilia. The class name refers to their creeping or crawling mode of locomotion, Latin, repere reptum, to creep or crawl. They are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and conified skin, epidermal scales or scutes. They do not have external ear openings. Tympanum represents ear. Limbs, when present, are two pairs. Heart is usually three-chambered, but four-chambered in crocodiles. Reptiles are poikilothomes. Snakes and lizards shed their scales as skin cast. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Examples are Chilone, turtle, testudo, tortoise, chameleon, tree lizard, calotes, garden lizard, crocodilus, crocodile, alligator, alligator, hemidactylus, wall lizard, poisonous snakes, nargia, cobra, bangarus, crate, vipera, viper. Sixth is class, 
Aves. The characteristic features of aves, birds, are the presence of feathers and most of them can fly except flightless birds, for example, ostrich. They possess beak. The forelimbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming or clasping the tree branches. Skin is dry without glands except the oil gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, bony, and the long bones are hollow with their cavities, pneumatic. The digestive tract of birds has additional chambers, the crop and gizzard. Heart is completely four-chambered. They are warm-blooded, homoeuthymous, animals, that is, they are able to maintain a constant body temperature. Respiration is by lungs. Air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is internal. They are oviparous and development is direct. Examples, Corvus, Crow, Columba, Pigeon, Cipicula, Parrot, Struthio, Ostrich, Pavo, Peacock, Aptinodites, Penguin, Neophron, Vulture. Seventh is, Class, Mammalia. They are found in a variety of habitats, polar ice caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands and dark caves. Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk-producing glands, mammary glands, by which the young ones are nourished. They have two pairs of limbs, adapted for walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming or flying. The skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair. External ears or pinny are present. Different types of teeth are present in the jaw. Heart is for chambered. They are homoeuthymous. Respiration is by lungs. Sexes are separate and fertilization is internal. They are viviparous with few exceptions and development is direct. Examples, of viviparous ornithorhynchus, platypus, viviparous, macropus, kangaroo, teropus, flying fox, camelus, camel, macuca, monkey, ratus, rat, canis, dog, feelers, cat, elephants, elephant. Equus, horse, delphinus, common dolphin, paloanoptera, blue whale, panthera tigris, tiger, pantheroleo, lion.